Welcome to Cabo Properties YouTube channel. Kushe Cabo, hello. This is Cabo Properties YouTube channel. My name is Showers. I've got a very important news again I want to bring to you guys. Still on safety in Sierra Leone. And this is very important. And if these steps are taking, I must say that those are very good steps. What I've seen here, they are very, very good steps. And that's a good start. And we've got to, we need to carry on with these kind of steps, these kind of measures. Okay? I'm going to read it soon for you guys. But before I do that, please hit the subscribe button on this um, channel right now please and like this video yeah please do that for us subscription is free guys so please hit the subscribe button let's get this video this um channel to 10k we are on 5k now i want to thank all of you guys for that but please for those of you who haven't subscribed it's your first time coming on here please do us the favor by hitting the subscribe button and liking this video we want to get to 10k in the next couple of months thank you very much for doing so so let's get into this information that I got, you for, uh, got from, for you guys from the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. I know, first of all, recently they've been talking about code, house code, or property codes. I don't even understand the details on that properly. But this one here, first of all, I'm going to read for you guys from my tablet. It's even more important. Yeah, it's very, very important. And here we go. Let me read it for you guys. So this is from the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. It says... Urgent safety measures implemented for Unimtech's nine-story building. I think that's a university. Freetown, August 14, 2024. In a decisive response to urgent safety concerns, the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning has directed the management of the University of Management and Technology as Union Tech, to immediately relocate all classes and activities within one of the campus's buildings. Sounds like it's a good, good thing to do. So they've detected there's an issue here. That's what it sounds like. Anyway, let me carry on reading. Um, the directive follows a stakeholders meeting held at the ministry's UU building conference hall where initial findings and recommendations were presented by various government institutions, including the National Disaster Management Agency Institute of Engineers. The meeting revealed serious legal and engineering deficits regarding the construction and use of the Unimtech building, which has been described by the public as potential death trap there you have it so that's why they're moving these people so i think yeah to me this makes more sense because we have to be proactive we have to be we must it is a must that we are proactive yeah now that they've noticed that this building is not safe it is good that the ministry and who on those who are in charge are taking these steps to relocate students i don't know what they're going to do next with the building but we shall see let me carry on reading and see if there's anything that they want to do with the building so, in light of these findings, the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, Dr. Turad Senesi, has instructed that all lecture rooms in the concerned building be relocated to a safe location until a thorough assessment of the building structure integrity is completed. Okay, so they're going to go double check with the building, which is great. The Ministry is committed to collaborating with Unimtex management to identify alternative land for relocation should the building be deemed unsuitable for use or face demolition. Brilliant move. Brilliant, brilliant move. I don't know what you guys think about this one, but this is brilliant move, I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is a brilliant move. This is a good step. This is how we need to be proactive. And not just for this building, they should check all buildings as well, especially those old ones and new ones anyway, but if they are two-story buildings, four-story high up, they should double check those buildings, especially buildings that houses public. That is a public building where a lot more people go like schools, universities, of course, offices, etc. Those should be checked properly. Yeah. 
So this is a good move. Let them check it. If it is not suitable, you know, they should demolish it anyway so that it doesn't cause any other harm to other people. Uh, just not because it's not going to just affect people that are in the building. It could affect people who are walking up past or the neighbors, etc. And of course, government should provide land for a new building to be built. I don't know whether the government themselves will be paying for that. I don't know, like providing money to build the university again. I hope they do. Or, I don't know, support the companies with, I don't know, somehow to build it back. But that's a good move by the government. So kudos to them for that. Yeah. Okay, so the university's management has expressed their full cooperation with authorities, emphasizing that the safety of their staff and students remains their top priority. So it should be. It should be so. You should prioritize safety. It's important. Health and safety is super important. We should prioritize that. So, anyway. To ensure a comprehensive evaluation, various agencies will conduct an in depth investigation into the building safety and suitability the states will make a final determination based on the outcome of these investigations the ministry of lands housing and country planning reassures the public that the safety and well-being of all citizens are paramount further updates will be provided as the situation develops that's exactly what you guys should do so go ahead and do it well done for obviously taking these first steps and then we're looking forward to you actually doing the right thing. Go in there, do all the necessary checks, relocate the student to a safe location for now, make sure learning is going on. Of course, it's not easy, but you guys can do it. And then once you find out that this building is not safe, definitely they should bring it down and build something somewhere else for the students or build in the same location. But obviously, it depends if the location itself is good for building such building anyway. If it's good, just rebuild it again this time. They should strengthen it, make sure it is good enough for a nine-story building in terms of the foundation, etc., sector, et sector, the materials used on it. That's very, very important. So I want to say big up to the ministry for doing that, for taking those steps, and of course to the university staff and management for cooperating. That's very, 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 very good step. That's what we should be doing, and we should continue doing that, every one of us. Earlier on, I saw as well online that another five-story building collapsed as well somewhere in Freetown. So you see, more and more, more and more of these things are happening. Therefore, we really need to be careful. Everyone that is building now, you should check, double check that your building is safe. Please, yeah? Especially if you're going to build a multi-story building, you need to double check that it's safe. Because we're putting people's lives in danger. And you're risking your lives too, yours and your families. So consider those, please, guys. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I have for you for now. I'll bring you more as I get the information. But for now, I'll stop here. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please do that. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get this channel to 10,000 um, subscribers in the next um, two to three months. Please. Yeah. Don't forget to like the video. And of course, let us know what you think in the comment section. My name is Showers. And this is Cabo Properties YouTube channel. Peace. Right, folks, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to, to this, this channel, channel now. now. That's it. Okay, so Jimmy Carter, tell the people, say, subscribe to this channel now. Okay. Tell them. Okay. Welcome to Egypt. Yeah, and tell them to subscribe. Say, subscribe now. And Jimmy Carter is now, now here. Yeah, no, you tell the people, In say, everybody watching, subscribe to this channel right now. Say that. What is it? Say subscribe. Subscribe? Yes, subscribe. 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 Subscribe? Yes. Yeah. To the channel. So now. Yes. Okay. Say that. You tell them, say subscribe. Subscribe. To so the channel. The channel. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Say that in Arabic. Say that in Arabic. Tell them to follow me. Say follow this channel now. Yeah. I mean Jimmy Carter. Yeah. Stay here. Nine pyramid. Yes.